The new Star Wars Episode 7 trailer just got released and I loved the look of the Darth Vader melted mask. So I downloaded the model and decided to 3D burn it. Stick around to see how it turned out. This video on 3D object is not authorised or endorsed by Disney, Lucasfilm, JJ Abrams or President Obama. Although I do feel like JJ Abrams and I could be really good friends if only he'd stop sending me those damn restraining orders. <laughs> So the first thing I did was go to the Thingiverse website to find the Darth Vader melted mask model. Say that three times quickly. You can find the link to the Thingiverse page below in the description or the thing number on the screen now. So once that's downloaded, I import the model directly into the Simplify 3D. And there we have it. So I'll spin it around so we can see the model. And that looks awesome. Now the next step is to choose how detailed I want the model. So I choose the process and then hit edit process settings. The material I'm printing with is ABS and the auto configure set is set to medium, which is a 20% infill, which I'm quite happy with. The only thing that I will change is putting generate support on and hitting okay. So the reason that I chose supports is because it helps the model where there are overhangs in midair, just like a bridge. If a bridge didn't have the supports, then it would just fall over, just like the 3D model. So I'm happy with all the other settings, so I'll go to prepare to print. So what's happening right now is the model is becoming sliced. So individual layers are getting prepared, ready for print. Now one of the great things about Simplify 3D is that it's extremely fast at slicing. And we'll see the slicing finish up in just a second. After the Darth Vader melted mask is sliced, I check the individual slices with the slider. This always reminds me of a medical scan of the brain, checking for imperfections layer by layer. Now I'm happy with how that looks, so I'll send it to the printer and get started on some awesome time-lapse footage. I've chosen black as my filament because Darth Vader would have wanted it that way. The footage you're seeing is sped up by 240 times so you can see the action without being bored senseless. What you are seeing right now is the ABS filament being heated to 220 degrees Celsius and extruded onto a heated bed of glass with a thin layer of Yoohoo glue on it to help the model stick. If there was no glue, the model would lift and peel off the bed during printing and you'd be left with a mess. As each layer is printed, the glass bed lowers to allow a new layer to be printed on top of the last one. This process repeats until the model is completed. What you see inside the model is called infill. And what this does, it gives the Darth Vader mask more strength and can be set to any percentage you want. So for Darth Vader, I've chosen 20% as it seems to work well with the XYZ DaVinci 1.0 3D printer. The original Star Wars series from the 70s and 80s was a huge part of my childhood. And with the new Star Wars Episode 7 being released December 2015, I just couldn't resist putting my 3D printer to work on a token reminder from the new film. The second trailer was released a few days ago and it looks absolutely amazing. JJ Abrams is one of this generation's greatest directors, sharing the throne with the likes of Christopher Nolan, Joss Whedon and Ben Affleck. Yes, I said Affleck, sue me. So the 3D model is finished, but we've got to do a little bit of cleanup before it's completely done. So here is me trying to remove the support structures from the Darth Vader melted mask. Now this footage has been sped up to only about a minute long. Originally this took me about half an hour trying to peel away all the support structure. Now the tools that I'm using are a pair of tweezers which seem to bend very very easily and a pair of pliers. Now I didn't want to rush this process because if I did I could actually destroy parts of the actual model. So I've taken my time and that's why it's taken so long. Now two of the hardest areas on this model were the eye sockets and around the mouth. So I took it nice and slowly so I didn't destroy any of the features within the model. Most of the time support structures just peel away, but in this case, it's sort of almost fused in there. So I've taken my time, so the model is still intact.
So there you have it. Darth Vader's Melted Mask from the new Star Wars Episode 7 trailer. This one is going straight to the nerd cave. Brilliant. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this Dark Side inspired episode of 3D Burn. If you do enjoy The Force, please subscribe to my channel. Subscribe you must to this channel! Also, leave me a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and leave me a comment down below if you can't wait for the new Star Wars. It really helps me a lot. And as always, imagine, learn, create. And may the Force be with you. The Force is strong with this one.